going on, everybody? Manny B. Investing, taking a look here at a tweet from Ada Hartpool, a gentleman that's been in a Twitter space with myself talking about Cardano DeFi in the past. Look forward to uh, being friends and, and seeing what 2022 brings for the both of us. Let's take a look here. Official announcement about the incidents of 1-1-22. Oh, no. Tinyman, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, but this is a, a trading protocol on Algorand. First, I am hearing of it, but I am always very interested in uh, DeFi attacks. That's steal funds. Let's see. Beginning on the 1st of January, 2022, an attack was orchestrated by unauthorized users on some of Tinyman's pools by exploiting a previously unknown vulnerability in the Tinyman contracts. The exploit resulted in a drain of certain ASAs in the first hour of the attack, which led to increased volatility in the immediate aftermath. As Tinyman team, We'd like to express our deepest regret and concern over the events that transpired. We apologize to our community for the inconvenience and their losses. We started working on plans to compensate the Tinyman community and will make this community prosper again. Users affected by this event will be reimbursed by the protocol. We are here to help and grow Algorand and get stronger by doing the right thing. All right, so far, you know, a lot of these attacks or pretty much everyone that I've covered um, the platform either reimbursed the users or had a plan to do so. Um, so I am, that's part of the reason why I'm, I like to cover these hacks across different networks uh, is because I'm really interested in what the communities in all of these networks are going to build. Like, how are they going to react? Is it going to be like the banks where it's like, Oh, we lost your money. Sorry, too bad. You know, or are they going to do something? Are they going to think of the user first, the small guy first? Or are they going to priori uh, prioritize the large institutions? So far, so good. Basics of the incident. Although the Tinyman team is still investigating the issue to leave no stone unturned, we have found the first evidence that may shed light on the incident. Without going into technical details of the attack, we'd like to share our first findings. According to the Algorand chain records, the first perpetrator activated their wallet addresses and deposited a seed fund for the hack. This is the transaction that shows their first deposit. Algo Explorer. There's a little screenshot of the, uh, the Explorer there. To carry out their attack, they began transacting with the targeted pools and swapped a portion of their funds to acquire ASA ID 38619275 and minted some pool tokens. Up until this stage, the perpetrators made sure that they had the first funds to begin their hacks. The account's first attack was this transaction group. And they have a link to the uh, transaction group here. Let's see. Let's take a look. All right, group, total transactions five. There's the block and the timestamp. There we go. Look at the amounts there. Interesting. As can clearly be seen, the attacker exploits an unknown bug in the burning of pool tokens and receive two of the same asset instead of two different assets. This worked in favor of the attacker since the GOBTC asset was significantly more valuable than ALGO, which they immediately swapped against ALGO to receive more funds to continue their attack. Interesting. Interesting. In a series of transactions, the attacker went on to consume the GOBTC or Go Bitcoin uh, in Go ETH pools over 17 transactions and removed a sizable amount of value. This value is estimated to be around $3 million at the time of withdrawal. The perpetrator's next set of actions show how they swapped over pools with stable coins to extract most of the value and withdrew these assets to other on-chain wallets and recognized central exchanges. Unfortunately, these transactions left behind a stolen sum of money from various users. As first reports began flocking to our social channels, 
We pinpointed the attack and started studying its extent. As the investigation continues, our findings suggest that there are many wallets that are now exploiting this bug, and we have evidence that those people can be held as culpable as the first attackers. For all the white hackers who are trying to support us, we advise them to simulate their actions on testnet where the funds aren't real and the operability is completely the same. What is going on with Tinyman now? Since the contracts are permissionless, not even the Tinyman team has the power to obstruct any kind of transaction on the blockchain. So, as a first step, a formal announcement was made on 2-1-2022 or 1-2-2022 to all Tinyman users, recommending they to pull out all their liquidity from all Tinyman-related contracts. Moreover, all, all the adding liquidity routes in the web app were deleted and necessary warnings were placed on the website to protect our community. When the attack began, total liquidity in the Tinyman was around 43 million USD, only to be reduced to around 20 million even hours after the attack. Following our advice, projects and users began removing their liquidities, which brought the total down to about 5 million USD. It is crucial to realize that the difference between a $43 million USD and the current number is not a lost amount. A huge portion of this amount was reclaimed by the users and is totally safe in their wallets. We are continuing to invest in continuing our investigation to resolve the issue with a plan to devise to cover all different aspects and show a clear pathway about our next set of actions. In the meantime, we keep our ears and eyes to the Tinnaman local. Uh, we keep our ears and eyes to the Tinnaman socials for all of those that require assistance or may contact us to help us. And we've got the next steps here. Within the next couple of days, we will publish our technical report about the issue to cover all details about the incident, including the details of the event that transpired or are happening even right now. We want to reassure our community that with this report and with our further communication, Tinyman team will establish full transparency in addressing, understanding, and resolving the incident. The team has already started creating multiple roadmaps to restart Tinyman protocol. The current roadmap is to fix the smart contracts and publish them as soon as possible with the help from Runtime and our community. We plan to get the protocol up and running within this week so the ecosystem can rebalance itself. Our next step it also will also include publishing the damage report and help recover the lost funds to our affected users. In the meantime, we are collaborating with law enforcement agencies to find more information about the perpetrators. We are in a communication with third parties that the attacker address has interacted with, so we will be able to share details on that end when we have more information. We will try our best to be transparent and communicate all of our actions moving forward. We also should remind our users that their wallets are not compromised by interacting with Tinyman contracts. If you have removed your liquidity, then your funds are safe. And a final notice here. Since the movement of the attack, we have received tremendous support from the community in the Algorand ecosystem. We've been in constant communication with most of the teams in the ecosystem, which have been critical or crucial in helping out with understanding and resolving the problem. We have been made in touch. We have been in touch with many of our LPs, Borderless, uh, Arrington, and Meld. It is humbling to get their support during this time, and we would like to thank the teams of Algament, Algofi, Yieldly, and many of our community members who stepped up to show support and help understand the issue. This shows us that the Algorand ecosystem is strong and will bounce back from this stronger than before. As we collaborate and learn more, we will only get stronger. Finally, we've been in touch with Algorand Inc. and Algorand Foundation who have expressed their support. As we have more details, we'll make sure to share them in our community to make sure Algorand ecosystem recovers from this loop. while being completely transparent, putting our users' needs at the center of our efforts. So very interesting situation there. I hope they can get their, pro their platform back up and running again. Um, big hack, uh, lots of money lost. Well, I mean, not a ton, but for a small protocol in a newer uh, ecosystem, 
uh, I would say that that's a lot. And it's really unfortunate that uh, it the the attack uh, wasn't just isolated to that amount of money. They actually had to drain their own uh, protocol, which really sucks and is really just unfortunate for them. And then the fact that the people they had to they had to basically pull their money out of these contracts, and I'm sure they had to 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 take some take on some fees because of that. Um, hopefully the network can do something about that. I don't know if they can or not, um, but yeah, hopefully they can get back up and running and and just move on into 2022 and take advantage of the expansion of DeFi and and then they can track down these these bad people and and bring them to justice. But just wanted to bring this information to you. Uh, thank you for checking me out. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.